Howdy, partner. You're listening to the High Noon Podcast. Your host, Mason Smith. Yeehaw, motherfucker. Welcome to another episode of High Noon. I got my trusted sidekick, my co-host. Motherfucking Nicholas the Pack. Hell yeah, and first time guest, Hank Garza. Hey, how's it going, everybody? <laughs> Buenos dias. Hell yeah, and we could splice in the uh, the El Hank show. Oh, that's fine. Or we could do the, or we could do the stock one. <laughs> Let's do that. <laughs> Hell yeah. All right, what's up, buddy? Nothing much, Stark. Thank y'all for having me, yeah, dog. Dude. It's a pleasure. Thank Just, y'all so uh, much for inviting me in your home, letting me smoke. Fuck yeah, dude. And, I brought uh, you a gift. Oh, yeah. I Wait. Hope. Let me scratch this fucker off. Yeah, dog. Got the scratch off. Now I got I, excited. I, I scratched mine off. Oh, off you there. good, now, dog. You're a premature scratch. Are, 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 are you going to make an exception? Do we get to hit the blunt? <laughs> sure, of course. Hell yeah. Wow. Oh. <laughs> dude, Hank, Hank would only smoke with me if no one was around. He's like, damn, like, you're going to bring that up? Hey, you, <laughs> okay, you, we'll go, we'll, we'll go, okay. You've yeah. hit, hit me with it twice before, you're I like, have. I don't share blunts with white people. With whites, I don't say white people, I just say with whites. With any other color that's not mine. I do, it's very, it's very rare. <laughs> You've shared with me before, so I feel yeah. like, I feel but, like. But there wasn't anybody else No around. one was around. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I don't share blunts in Mexicans. <laughs> I like that. I like that. I like this man. I only no, wanted I to hit I just, it once. I honestly, I just, I'm already good. Dude, yeah. by the way, man, blunts <clears throat> just hit different. Yeah. Is no. that a, what kind of, uh, is, what, is that a regular swisher? swisher. Yeah, so, man. Yeah. yeah. So. I don't like any flavors. Oh, so you wouldn't like those. So those are the tropical new ones. Oh, cool. Yeah, but, nah. If they're yeah, a sponsor, I like them, but not. Yeah, they're no, not sponsor. Nah, then fuck them. Yeah. <laughs> but, <laughs> uh, yeah, so you do original. But, see, the original's yeah. good when you got, like, dank weed. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Here, let's see. What I like to say. All right, here we go. What's the winning number? I don't know. I'm not a big fan of blunts. They're just too harsh for me. I don't they know. I'm not a big fan yeah. of the tobacco in them. I like joints. See, see I like joints four? the best. And bubblers. Joints and bubblers. Oh, those are my two favorites. Dude. If it not a bong. Like, a bong is cool, but a bubbler. A really dope, like, cool bubbler is sick. That just hold, it's like a coffee mug. It's like a fit. Yeah, yeah bro. I'm a big thing. fan of, of the bubble. Damn. Yeah, it was a four, and I saw the four, but uh, that was a 14. Uh, One more. Come on. suck. Damn it. Yeah, what no. a loser. Yeah, we lost. I stink at life. All right. Stink. <laughs> Stinky yeah, McGee. Nah, man. Growing up, there was a, there wasn't this this high fashion weed we have now. It was brick weed. Yeah, dirt. So, yeah, seeds. so I would have to smoke blunt. These are Rillos, but I would used to smoke blunt blunts, bro. Like Philly blunts, tight. Oh blunts. yeah, yeah, yeah. The one like in the tube. A, yeah, you put a whole QP in that fucking. Yeah, thing, right. And then you might get your eyes <laughs> might get high. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's nuts. My parents used to have buy that shit like by the a couple ounces. Dude, and, yeah. and when I was in high school, I didn't really, I didn't smoke. Start smoking until I was like about like, right about seventeen. When I was like 15, 16, I would just Good. go take like a big CD flat ch- black chunk. Oh. chunk nug of their weed and I would like spray it with soda That's the right and then passage. roll it in uh, sugar and then I would sell it to kids at school. Hell yeah. Uh, what, was the sh- what was the sugar for? Make it look, look how dank it looks yeah. with all oh, the crystals. Oh, like make it look crystally. <laughs> it's Yo. so stupid. Dude, remember when people go, dude, it's got red hairs. Yeah, yeah. It's like, yeah. I think that's mold. Yeah, I know. Bro, you know, you could spray. But then by the, but like two years later, by the time I started smoking weed, like I had my own friend connects. That, yeah, yeah. And I I was like my weed was way better than my parents so then like after my parents well, i was turning 18 my parents accepted that i smoke weed too and yeah because like, my mom had this thing she's like I'm, ne- I'm never gonna smoke weed with my kids because we knew she smoked yeah and she's like i'm never gonna smoke with them i think it was my brother's like 16th birthday we were out camping and the kids were all in the lake and i was hanging out with my mom and like where are you from dog from california okay okay, okay. from fresno we we're out at this lake and uh uh, my mom lit a joint she passed it to her friend and her friend passed it to me and i hit it and i passed it to my mom she took it she smoked it and then she went and then my friend my mom's friend walked away real quick and then my mom was like oh here and she passed it back to me and i hit it i was like mom you just smoked weed with your child and she was like oh my god and then after <laughs> that like, i forgot awesome. and after that we've been cool and then she just started buying weed from me because yeah, <laughs> i was, like mom, mom, I was now, like mom i have way better weed than that's you. She's so like, cool what? i love stories do your like parents that. smoke weed bro my mom used to put cigarettes out on me dog oh. <laughs> <laughs> for fun for funsies yeah, yeah oh she, my, she's like really Stoned and do it for fun. Now nah, go fucking no, go play I love in the that road, shit, man. He's like, yeah, my mom got high as fuck and then would burn me with cigarettes. <laughs> Just out of anger, bro. So, no, was she no, doing no, it? no drugs involved. Was you it ever, you ever have? 
Yeah, you ever yeah. have a fucked up parent that's like not even on drugs? Like, damn, bitch, yeah. I, I wish I could blame this on something. Yeah, like, you're just mean. You're just mean, bitch. <laughs> is yeah. she still alive? Fuck. Yeah. She's is she mean now? Yeah. Is well, she mean she... to your kids? No. Oh, well, that's good. Oh, well, no, yeah. she's grandma. You know? Yeah, she now took she's... that all out on you. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. How the many gr- kids do you have? <laughs> two. Two you daughters. Got, uh, two daughters? Yeah, okay, seven, how old are they? Seven and two. So, oh, so yeah. you still got some wild. You, they're still like fun. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 They don't kinda, hate you yet. Nah, not yet. Yeah. The seven-year-old, kind of, but oh. <laughs> whatever. It happens, dog. Yeah. Yo, I love stories about like parents getting high with their kids because I never experienced that. Mm-hmm. One thing I did experience though, dude, was was uh, crazy in South Texas. I had a buddy, and he was always like, he would. We were real, really close friends, but he'd never let me go over to his place. It's like, yeah, whatever. Maybe maybe you have a shitty place. Maybe you're poor. I don't give a fuck. One day he invites me over and I figure out why. His mom's a lesbian. She has a partner. And this was like uh, early 2000s. That's so. when they called it a roommate. Yeah. yeah. Uh, exa- that's exa- bro, Pat Pat that's exactly what Pat he Pat called it. He was like, oh, that's my mom's roommate. I'm yeah. like, yeah, they're fucking holding hands. And- <laughs> yeah, yeah. They're muff time, dude. <laughs> my grandpa Les had a sister named Pat. And she had, uh, I had Aunt Pat and Aunt Evelyn. And they yeah, were dude. roommates. roommates yeah. Bro, that's exactly what he called her. Well, anyway, uh, dog. I'm not even kidding you. We were chopping up lines of methamphetamine, dog. Uh-huh. And we were rolling blunts. And his mom walks in and she's like, yo, uh, I forgot. The, her partner wants to, to, to hit or do whatever y'all are going to do. Yeah, she wants to get high. And then uh, I remember uh, I go, well, fuck yeah. And she goes, don't you cuss inside of my house. I'm like, as lady, there's meth- as there's meth and not, there's straight up methamphetamine in your fuck, on yeah. your son's dresser <laughs> right now. And we're rolling blunts and like we have cough, everything. And uh, like, but to God forbid, but you God say forbid the, you say F-word. fuck. Oh, dude, that was so funny. But it was so wholesome to me. Like, damn, yeah. bro. It's like she's people, got morals. People have lines. I like that <laughs> shit. Yeah. Right. I strive to live like that. Bro. Dude, I remember, we do meth, but don't curse. Don't yeah, fuck that's you. funny. Uh, when, I, when I was a kid, I remember I went to one of my buddy's house. And it was the first time I went. I'm good. I'm good with the one. I'll take one. Uh, I went to my buddy's house, and it was the first time I went to a house where the mom didn't care what was happening. Mm, So he mm -hmm. would let. She would let us uh, smoke cigarettes. Oh, and and yeah. we could cuss in her house. What were you smoking? What was what was your what was your cigarette of choice? Whatever, so, whatever uh, someone had. Mine was Marlboro Virginia Blend because I was a okay. Fag. Yeah, I tried I tried dipping too in, oh, yeah. in ninth grade. I, did I dipped at lunch. I did whiskey blend in Copenhagen, and I puked immediately. Oh, of course. Yeah, I went in the bathroom, <laughs> threw up everywhere, dude. Uh, <laughs> I just started smoking cigarettes till I was nineteen. I was working at a bank, and like I was living on my own. Like the stresses of life got to me. And on one day on my break, I was like. Just went and bought a pack of cigarettes, bought a pair, pack of Lucky Strike filters because yeah. they were still selling yeah. them at the time um, before they banned them for a little while. Now they're back with a different formula or something. No like, shit. Yeah. It's yeah. like the Four Locos? Yeah. Like the Four Locos something cigarettes? Something like that. Yeah, Damn, yeah. It's like, um, but yeah, I started on those. And so, I, then I smoked cigarettes for like, fuck, like seven years. Then vapes became a thing, like the big cloud ones. And I got into those. I was like, that's just that's just fun. I was like, we just I got one and I yeah. vaped on one for like a whole week. And then I had a cigarette like a week after vaping, vaping yeah. for one day. I was like, this is the worst thing ever. I How old are you, dog? 36. Oh, we're the same age. Okay, yeah. cool, cool. Yeah, damn. Yeah. You look like shit. No. I do, bro. <laughs> Actually, I was kind of going to say, he kind of looks a little younger than you. Just yeah, to, you do. But that's just because you got yeah, that little, little bit of gray. Oh, I'm gray. So I, yeah, I, yeah. I got tons of gray. You don't have any gray in your hair, though. I have tons of gray in my hair. See, I, I look I'm like this since I was 16. Hair. So it's like, yeah, it's how, a, and yeah. how tall are you? Six four, six five. Yeah, and, and you were the same size too when you were that. Young? I think I was shorter in high school, dude. To be honest with you. Okay. You know what's so crazy? You grew after high school. I don't even want to like promote this, but I kid you not. I went to a chiropractor for two years, and I think that made me taller. Dude, I I go to a chiropractor. I love the chiropractor. I think it seriously. Shout made out me Two taller. Hands Chiropractor. Oh baby. shit, Doctor J. You yeah. Know, hell yeah. What's yeah. up, Doctor J? You He's watch the this man, shit, dude. Hook me up, dog. Yeah, I got dude. a pinched nerve. I was at the hospital last night. I threw my back. Oh, what'd you do? I threw my you're back. You're a phony, you, Doctor J. No, no, J. You're don't a phony chiropractor. Yeah, yeah. Chiropractic shit that is shit bullshit. Ain't, real. ain't a That's real not doctor. I just want a man to rub on me. That's all. You ain't a real doctor. You just like touching people. How'd you throw your back out? It's old, bro. Sneezed. <laughs> yeah, just dude, old. One time, <laughs> hey, old. Dude, one time I hawked a loogie and threw my ne- I fucked my neck up. Excuse me. Uh, that's funny. I remember, uh, like I, went, I remember when you did that. Yeah, yeah and the, dude, it fucked my neck up for like a week. My, the first time I threw my back out, I was shitting. <laughs> I went to wipe, and that's when I threw my oh, back out. Oh, the ah. twist. Bro. Oh, Yikes. the shit twist. <laughs> that sucks, hey, dude. Man. So Damn. wait, dog. I don't really know too much about you, dog. I think we got beef. No, I'm kidding. So how do you know? Oh, about, I hate you. Yeah, me too. Uh, yeah, uh, I hate you. 
you know like about Lavernia and Floresville, right? No. Nope. No? Okay. Then never mind. Wrong dude. Wrong I dude. I, 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 I thought I was talking yeah, to somebody else. Never no, mind. no, no, no. Um, so uh, I think I asked you, and you said you do That's have- That's Adam a, Lucky. My bad. Uh, <laughs> all whites that's, look that's the same. Adam name. Yucky. All whites look the same. Oh, I said Adam Yucky. Uh, no. No, we had a we had a weird first encounter actually. It was at Vulcan. I got um, me and you. Ju- yeah, it was just the very first oh. time we ever like I ever laid eyes on you. You oh, ever cool. saw me ever? It was. Uh, I probably wasn't doing comedy. Uh, no, you were security at that time. You were busting um, heads. Uh, so it was a uh, it was Kill Tony Monday. <laughs> And it was like maybe two, three weeks after I had gotten on uh-huh. uh, my first Kill Tony, and then I was get, and then that for that whole like stretch of time from the Kill Tony to the time we like, saw each other, okay. I was on back to back like secret shows. Nice. Um, and were you working really, like, with me. us yet? No, 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 oh, okay. not yet. Um, but uh, a friend of mine from LA who was friends with Red Band as well, uh-huh. he was. I was like, oh, Red Band's over at Kill Tony right now because he just happened to be in town at Creek. So I came, I brought him, and I was like, they're probably in the green room. And at that point, no, I'm good. At that point, I'd already been in the green room a bunch with all these guys. I went and I knocked on the door and opened it, and I just, I didn't walk in. I just stuck my head in. I was like, hey, is Red Band in here? <laughs> he knows where it's going. I know where it's going. And I was like, is Red Band in here? And they're like, no. I was like, all right, cool. And I shut the door, and then I like walk away, and then you come out of the door and you go, hey. This isn't fucking secret show. Like, you know, <laughs> I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck if you're in your own secret show. I'm like, this is Kill Tony. You don't Bro, just walk I used into to, the I used, to get, I used to get paid to do well, this. I, know, I, know, I, know. I was just like, I was, I was like, oh, oh, okay, yeah. yeah. And then like the next week or that same week, I was on secret uh, show again in the green room, dick. and I, like you walked in, and I'm just sitting there, and I'm like. I probably didn't. I probably didn't even did, remember. It was. It was one. But I was yeah, at that like, point. Yeah, I was. Yeah. I've kicked out a bunch of people. Yeah, at that point, I'd only lived here like two months. Yeah. You know, I was you like, gotta uh, understand, dog. At oh, that yeah. point, I feel like when I came along was after his cancellation. Yeah. Mm. And it was growing, that, and we were just probably, getting. Right? Yeah, we were just. There was. It was a weird time where like switching we didn't the know, We didn't know if people cool if they were just gonna come and be like yo fuck you and like yeah no no so it was like i, I don't know who the fuck you are right, bro. right. Like, yeah. i'm around all the time and if i didn't see you yeah I, but right. it, it was just yeah. weird because at that point like i had literally been surrounded by those dudes for like the last three weeks yeah. in a row like yeah. every week and i was like hey man i mean i get it i not, yeah. hadn't seen you before either that was the first yeah, time yeah. i'd ever seen you too so it must have been like maybe you want you were like on vacation in or my, doing something in else, my defense like, my job was strictly for Monday. Yeah. After my, I didn't give a fuck. Yeah. Right. It's like, bro, just on Monday, just be correct. Yeah. Don't, right. Like, that's all it was. Dude. I thought right. I was being correct because I even knocked. I went, no, no, no. I'm, I'm sure you <laughs> and I just, yeah. like, and I, I just, I just like, peeked it up and I was like, there's Red Man I, here. I'll tell One you, of his friends is here I, and wants I'll, to say hi. Me, I'll tell you this. I don't want to throw anybody under the bus. But if I, if you closed the door and I came out, somebody was probably like, probably oh, said, yeah. go talk to yeah, him. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, 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 that's yeah, what yeah, I was yeah, thinking. Yeah, no, absolutely. 100%. Someone was like, yeah. So I was like, oh, yeah, no worries. Did you ever, that's very, very um, weird and that's cool that you bring that up dog because like i appreciate i didn't i don't know yeah you know what I'm no saying? but like, i mean i understand the like in retrospect yeah. and all that i mean we've never had beef you were always cool with me after that's yeah. not like we ever like nah, yeah, ever exactly, you know you yeah. like you see me around it's always, we always say hi to each other and yeah. like you know we bullshit a few times and like yeah no it's, but i was like that was the very first interaction i had with you and it was just like it was such a surprise and that's because at that point like Vulcan started just letting me in. Like after my first kill Tony, they just let me in. It was like yeah. I was like I didn't have to bag my phone at like and kill we Tony had that problem where like, there was like and it's like yo okay you can get but you ain't coming in here yeah right? yeah right. No, absolutely yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It, yeah was no. a, it was a crazy that was like time, invite though. only right like they yeah. had to be like yeah and I literally out. had just like at like back before you walked down the hallway yeah. I tell my friend Sam there's like hold on let me hold on you stay here I got to make sure it's cool and then I come in I'm like can then you shoot me out I'm like and I walk back I'm like he's not in there. <laughs> Uh, yeah, if, if some uh, if I came out, there would uh, I would never go yeah, out and just yeah. like yeah. So somebody the, was like, oh, time, or, you know what I think it was? You were what you were walking up behind me as I knocked and I opened it, and as I was uh, leaving, I turned okay. around. And you were right there, and you didn't know what's going on. So I was just all like right, one of those things. Right. So you were just like you were doing your job, but at the same all time, right, like yeah, sure. it was the first time we ever Bro, laid that, eyes on each other. I gotta other. admit, dude, that fucking sucks now for me because uh, I realized how I came across people and like how I still do, but. Now they're like, oh, I'm a comic. Yeah. I feel it. I gotta be honest, and not that I'm crying, but like I feel it, bro. Yeah. yeah. Where it's like, yo, fuck this dude. 
Really? You were t- yeah. I mean, well, I was telling everybody, "Fuck you, get away!" For the past two and a half, three right, years. Yeah, right. Right. yeah. And, and then now it's know, like, I, yeah, so, yeah. I wanted to actually ask you about the time that you spent doing that. Did you ever have to do anything physical with any? Did you ever have any? I'm not going to admit to anything like that. Oh, but okay. I mean, yeah, it's probably it's all that's all under. Uh, yeah, no, I'm not going to admit to anything like that. So homie, nothing but, too crazy though, or nah, bro. It's just pe- sometimes just people get out of line and just yeah. like their dopamine just like gets the best of them. Gotcha, gotcha. And they're in the moment. They just got to get reminded like yo dude uh, there's an etiquette uh, act like you've been somewhere like before been, thank you so have much for social awareness oh dude yeah, dude i got thanks a funny story that, and thanks, I got a, yeah that's that's it that's all it is bro dude thursday nights we're, we're doing these those fucking frat tabs yeah. where the where the young yeah, like 20 remember that yeah dude nightmare they are out we're, at 10 we're o'clock fit, and there's a and line of 300 dude, frat kids so we're outside. doing that now and we did had one this past thursday but it was the frat one not the sorority so when it's the frat one it's the fellas. Mm-hmm. They fucking get out of hand. I bet Dude, they we kicked out probably 14 kids because they kept smoking in the fucking and bathroom. And that's exactly what they are, kids. Dude, I literally, I walked in there and I went dad mode on them all and I go, guys, you know you can't smoke inside. Act like you fucking been somewhere before. His inner head dude, came out. The, oh, pa- the patio's up. Yeah, I was literally, I was like, there's a fucking patio yeah, upstairs. You can, exactly. Uh-huh. And there was a kid, I shit you not, the first time, they all had cigarettes. It looked like, um, what's a movie with a movie where the kids all want to fire up a cigarette so that they like look cool? Outsiders or something? Something uh, like that, where they, all just, for Johnny. they yeah. all just want to smoke, Party right? Boy. But there's one kid in the middle yeah. holding an Altoid box with Lucy's in it. Get the fuck out I of swear, here. because, uh. and then I thought about it, it's because you have to be 21 to buy cigarettes now. Yeah. yeah. So they were probably just oh, like, do you really? Yeah. No. Yeah, so, so they're probably they're probably I'm, like getting a pack and stuff. And then, yeah, and, and then, then like they put uh, it in this little, and it looked like he was selling Lucy's. That's so funny. And I'm like, what Shout the out fuck to that entrepreneur? You, what the fuck <laughs> are that? you doing? Hey, dude, dude, I respect the hustle. Get the fuck on the patio, yeah. it, dude. And I gave him t- chance after chance, but then this one kid was smoking in the in Vulcan, dude. I felt so cool. I walked up. I go, hey, cool. no, I go, not in here. And I grabbed it and I put it out on my hand and threw it on the oh, floor. Oh shit! I go, get the dude. fuck out. That's, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's fire, fire, bro. Yeah, yeah not in my house. <laughs> I literally, I did just like your mom. Bro. I was just like, <laughs> your hand looks like my back yeah. and my arms. I love it. I was dog. like, get the fuck out, dude. Out of here, and homie. Then Rylan, Rylan pulled me aside. He goes, hey, I saw what you did. He goes, that's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yeah. Not in here, motherfucker. Yeah, Not would, in here. I would have pulled out my penis and put it right on the hole and just. just it would have like, been really cool like if you that? grabbed. It would have been cool if you grabbed his hand and put it on his hand. Not here, yeah, asshole. Not here, douchebag. <laughs> Burned him and then just grabbed him by the ear and just walked him out. But dude, so disrespectful. That show had show. That event started within 30 minutes. I'm standing by the sound booth. I see a battery on the floor and I'm like, immediately I go, Whoa. That's the brand new towel dispenser. And I open the door. They ripped it off. The, brand new, for no reason. Ripped it off the wall, Fuck smashed animals. it on the floor. Animals. animals. And the, no respect. These no. little bastards, dude. But uh, throughout, with about, there's 500, there will yeah. be about four that will come by and fist bump you and go, thank you for letting us be here. Yeah. And there, and it's like, okay, so you must be poor. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just got, that, you, you're poor, you have you good are, grades, you, you got into a scholarship. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you worked, scholarship. Yeah, you worked hard to be here. You, you got a scholarship. That, and then, yeah. then, then you go, well, maybe that'll be the senator. Yeah, we call those yeah. the grant babies. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and definitely, there's one of the, there's definitely a senator or two in that group. Hell yeah. Those fucking little Sad, assholes. Sadly. Yeah, sadly. <laughs> yeah. How long have you been doing comedy, homie? Uh, this will be year nine. Cool. And you don't? Yeah. Be five in November. Five? Nice. Yeah. Yeah, fun times. That's awesome, dog. Where did you start? Cali? Fresno. I Fresno. did it all in Fresno. Nice. Did like seven years in Fresno. Yeah. Then moved here. Cool. Uh, after Cup when it was the first place to open up. Everyone was moving here. I'm I, and like once Tom and Christina said they were moving here, uh-huh. I was like, Oh, I would like to meet them and work with them and do comedy and like yeah. and uh and so I, that's why I moved here. Because it was yeah. it was like, cause right before COVID. Uh-huh. I knew I was going to move. I mean, I was going to go to L.A. and just give a shot. Because, like, from doing stand-up in Fresno and California, people come through and do the bar shows and the local scene. There's no clubs there. But so, but, like, throughout the seven years, I met people in L.A., San Francisco, Sacramento. So I was, like, for me, like, I'm just getting, I was getting into clubs the last, like, couple years in uh, California. But it was, like, it was, like, a Wednesday show in L.A. And I lived three hours, three and a half hours north. So I'd get off work at five, drive down there, the three and a half hours right after work. 
get to the show that starts at nine, you yeah. know, do my spot, hang out for like an How hour, long was the spot? 10 minutes, Good. drive back yeah. and, and then get home at three in the morning, get up, wake up at 8 a.m., go to work. And never thought twice there. about it, though. Oh, no. It was like, yeah, it's like, this is what I'm doing. But it was starting. It was starting. Yeah. But it was starting. I love hearing that. It was starting to get wore out. So I was like, I have to move somewhere. And then I was like, all right, I'm going to move. I, in my mind, yeah. I didn't tell anybody, but in my mind, I made the decision I'm moving. If you were. COVID if, happened. If you could go back and tell yourself uh, when you were a year in, what would you tell yourself? I would have moved to L.A. way sooner. Okay. <laughs> Besides I, would, I wouldn't have finished my degree. I would have just quit school again and uh, just like... Where'd you get your degree in? Philosophy. Oh, uh, useless. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I mean, I, well, knew, also, I, knew, I knew it was useless. It was yeah. more of a, I'm going to finish what I start. Because I was going to be the first person. I was the yeah. first. Me and my brother, we were the first to... Hit me, me with some fucking Nietzsche, dog. I don't know. Nietzsche. Uh, I don't remember. I don't yeah, remember. Hit me with that. some David Allen Cole, homie. Uh, yeah. I've, never heard, <laughs> I've never heard of him. Oh, dude. He's the... He's, uh, Never He's a little him. racist, but that's that's philosophy one one in America. Uh, yeah, I don't know, <laughs> dude. My... Only, the only thing I remember from college is Socrates' famous line: "Is the only thing I know is I know nothing." Yeah. <laughs> one of the so only dates remember. my dad ever took my mom on yeah. was to a David Allen Coe concert. Hell yeah, homie! <laughs> that's so funny. Boy, I went and saw Who David Allen Coe. He's like oh. a very old school if legendary. If there was an Ozzy Osbourne of, of country music, yeah, it's, da- it's David Allen Coe. Oh, okay. he, David yeah, Allen Coe doesn't has give written. a fuck. David Allen Cole has written hundreds, if not thousands, of songs and like hundreds that you've heard, and you, and you would never, oh, okay. you'd never guess like who the fuck is that guy? Okay, but he's like, I get it. He's an outlaw, like legend. Let's think of like almost like a Holtzman type of thing, where like, oh, okay, yeah, he just. So he says the, he, he says the N word a lot. <laughs> That's what you're he's, saying. He's, he's, he's not shy. A few times, he's not yeah. on record. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah on record. Like I could show you. Yeah. I bet, I bet. <laughs> That's cool. Um, no, it was. I mean, it, great songwriter. I would have gone. Yeah, I would have yeah, yeah. song. <laughs> Besides uh, that, great song. <laughs> Separate the art from the artist. Hundred percent. Knowing what I know now, I think I don't know. It would either be like go there earlier. Well, like, fuck that, homie. I'm or trying. Give me here. advice. I'm a year in. What would you tell me, dog? Keep going. Yeah, keep going. Yeah, you're, just, in, you're in. You're, <laughs> yeah, yeah, but you're in the right spot. Thanks. You're yeah. you're you're already you're already uh, eight years or seven years ahead of me. You're dude. in a place where it can develop, right. where it yeah. Ma- yeah, where things can um, happen. Quicker. I would tell yeah, you. Thanks for telling me. Though, I'm going to tell you right now. Uh, quality stage time over quantity. Thank you. Don't don't thank you. Don't break your back doing eight mics in one night. For thank shit. you. That's what I've if been you, doing. If you, dog, like, in my opinion, if you have a good set that makes you feel damn, good and you stay, get off stage, yeah. and let's say there's two three more mics where you know like the crowd may not be there or you're not going to have a good time. Take that night yeah, off. If relax. you think that it's going to be pointless, bro, I had that happen to me in Houston. I crushed open enough for Camp Patterson. Thanks so much, Camp Patterson, if you listen for let me open for him. And then I went and did a shitty open mic and got the worst your night. heckled because the lady looked just like my mother. I froze, bro. I could. Yeah. It was like, oh, you're like, mom. If, yeah, bro. <laughs> Please it don't was, burn me. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, don't get me wrong. It was like that, dog. Where where I couldn't tell her any. I Uh, I was like, damn, I should have just taken the win and gone. But yeah, but don't get me wrong. At the same time as saying that, you are a year in. You have to get those reps in. Of course, dog. Of course. So you're getting those reps in. But I would say, like, once you get to at least like year three, and if you're getting booked on some shows, getting some nice, good five minute spots, seven minute spots, um, continue to do those and work hard. And yeah. go and get your reps in, but like I said, if it's gonna affect your, if you do, it, if you have a good set, and then the oh. next set in your mind, or you get there, and there's one person in the audience, and you know it's just they're not, or there's people not listening, yeah. you know it's gonna, you know you're gonna feel like shit after you do this versus how you feel get, getting off that last mic. Yeah, fuck it. Yeah, I don't care. I mean, we don't talk comedy that often, but I got. I mean, when I moved here, Mason was doing yeah. seven, eight and mics a night, and I was like, "Why are you doing this? Let's mm-hmm. just. We had a good set. Let's go hang out." Right. Yeah. You know. And yeah, he and, and it, it makes you there. feel mentally better too. Yeah. Because, dude, I got to a point where, like, you, I was still doing a shit ton of mics. So Sunday through Thursday, I was doing getting up between two and five times, uh-huh. just driving around doing mics, yeah. and it, eventually it got to where I was like. Well, I know that this shit, because I'm saying I was working on, you know, new material too, but I got to where, okay, this is working. Yeah. Why would I want to go to this, this mic where there's two old men in a VFW that don't, that are mad that you're even on stage? Yeah. It's like, there's just no, and, and then it makes you go, well, wait a minute. Does that joke actually suck? Yeah. And that was a one-off Man. where it worked. 
It's just it, there's just no point in it, dude. Yeah. It just fucking. I mean, a- everybody has their horror stories. I did comedy for three. Here's my here's my here's my flip side to that too. Let's say you do you are going to a mic. Mm-hmm. There's three people in the audience. That should be you should go as hard as you can. Yeah, for the yeah, exactly. For those two. Or for those three. Because yeah. I mean, at least if those three people walked away saying, like, damn, that guy went hard. Even if it yeah. bombs, they don't laugh, but you still gave it your all. That you they know. I kinda have a mix of like both of those <clears throat> uh I like mentalities, dude, because that's what I'm doing. Um at first I was measuring the time. I'm like, well shit. I figured out a way where I was getting forty five minutes of stage time from Monday through Thursday. Yeah. Like solid, but then I was like, "Well, some of these aren't that good, and there's yeah. nobody there." Yeah. yeah, and when it's all comics, that kind of well, see, too. where I was at, there was no, it was nobody, there was no comics, and I was, I was the only comic there. Oh, okay. So I saw that as a win. I'm like, "Well, fuck, if I could get a chuckle out of one person here, I know that joke is good or it's not." And I feel like I trimmed a lot of fat from my material yeah. just mm-hmm. by doing that stuff, dude. Yeah. But I, I didn't know if I was, like, cutting myself short by not doing seven mics a night. Where, like, on Tuesdays here in town, you could, dude. It's, oh, yeah. It's popping, dude. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Tuesday, here's just, here's, a Tuesday here's, night Here's the thing, like, yeah. do them. But just take into consideration how you feel at the end of the night. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that's, cause that's just going to bleed into when you wake up the next day. Yeah, You're just going to think dog. about that last one. Versus, like, you can go do... Two out of those six mics on Tuesday, you can uh, do. You get just as I'm much not, out of it. That yeah. first one's okay. Second one's great. Third one, the audience. If the, I mean, here's my thing is, if the second one's great and you go to the third place, the audience and the whole place looks set up to have yeah. a great time. By all means, fucking go for it. If you bomb there, that's Fuck sucks. It. But I mean, like, but then like at that point, you'd be like, oh, it's already eleven thirty at night. You're like, oh, the midnight mic starts. It's yeah. You know, why am I going to go no. stay up that late, drive Dude, across town? Yeah, there was times where me and him, when, when we first met, yeah. like two years, almost two, yeah, like two years ago now. November. Uh, yeah. Uh, we would, he would come with, I would like have to be like, do you want to come? Because he was already at a point where he had it. He was already at that time, seven, I guess, seven years in. Yeah. He had his fucking, he had 30 minutes already. So he'd be like, <clears throat> I mean, like, I guess. And I'd always be like, why don't you want to go? And he's like, I. I just. I don't it's have like, anything. Why? I just but might not have anything. A couple of times, anything. though, I would get him to come. We'd drag him with us, and we would go to this VFW yeah. in uh, Georgetown. Oh, I love and it. he would literally. He sometimes he would go up, oh. but sometimes he'd just go, "No, yeah, I'm not doing it." And I'm like, "But we're here." <laughs> and he's like, "Dude, it's why? Why? I'm not. I'm just not gonna do it." And I'd be like, "Are you sure?" And he's like, "Yeah." <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna tell it. jokes for you and the yeah. bartender. Yeah, yeah, like, I just, and I just didn't get it because I was oh. like new here and still trying to. And also, oh. when I moved here, I threw my whole, oh. I threw away. I had, I had like 18 minutes when mm-hmm. I moved here from Boston, okay. and I threw pretty much. Boston. I I threw pretty much all that away because it was all about shit? being married. Oh. It was all about me and my wife and shit. Oh. And I threw, I kept one joke. I kept my dog. Joke. And now you're transitioning, right? Congrats. Bro. Oh yeah, and then I'm when I got support. here, I wrote, I wrote, I've got like eight minutes on my divorce. Hell yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, it's great. Which is funnier than all the married stuff. Yeah. <laughs> No That's offense, awesome. Carrie. I miss you very much. <laughs> <laughs> Carrie, <laughs> what up? He cries. Oh, Give it to Carrie. Yeah. <laughs> Leave it in. Uh, well, I just don't like saying her name because she's a professional. Oh. Uh, yeah. Man. But anyways, uh, so you're, hey, mar- you're married. You're married though, right? Yeah. Yeah. How long you been married? Eleven years. Happily? Yeah. Sure. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, of course, dog. <laughs> I wouldn't stick around, right? Hey, so uh, I asked you about. <laughs> I asked you about jail tales. Have you been arrested? I forget. I don't want to talk about this. Uh, wait, oh, then don't uh, do it. Yeah. No, please, no. But we can go fuck. We don't have episode. to. We, we yeah, don't, don't want to talk about that. I don't okay. want to talk about that. We don't we, have to. Yeah, all right, no more. No jail I would, tales. I would this just episode. say this: the families. Of those affected are still alive. Oh, alive. <laughs> yeah. No, we don't. Want, Hank killed the guy. <laughs> we don't want to. We don't want to. We don't want to go down that road. <laughs> you don't want to go down that road, man. So um, it'll. Yeah. When when they come to cancel me, you, you're about. Oh, oh. Okay. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> I look forward to. Okay, this is on. I look forward to taking on that. Uh, that mountain or whatever you want to call it was seen on a podcast with hank yeah i'm looking forward to just handling that head on he's our friend (laughs) well who cut your hair (laughs) 
<laughs> this guy on the east side of Austin. <laughs> My, my cellmate. <laughs> yeah, I'm just trying to help move on. Move on. Segway. You got it's very you got good hair. Thanks, though. Yeah, yeah. I don't hey, try. Uh, also, if you ever need a haircut, Trey Pack, he does twenty dollar comedy haircuts. Does he really? Yeah, he makes you listen to him tell his act. Uh, why? Why? What? <laughs> ah! <laughs> Yo, shout out to that though, bro. That's funny. I love you, Trey. Get it how you get it, Trey. I don't. I'm not hating. He's getting booked right at work. Yeah. <laughs> yeah and if you want a really good haircut, hit up Darren Irwin. He'll give you a really good haircut. Oh no. Oh. Uh, uh, is he, he going to make it? I think he will. He I, just stopped posting. Uh, well, Nick Barr is in charge of that of oh, the posting oh, okay, of that. Yeah, yeah. So he's running that. But uh, I think it, so. I just talked to uh, someone. Told me yesterday that they said he's ahead of schedule. Yeah, but he's fat and lazy. He'll take advantage no, of No, have you seen him lately? Yeah, I know. I'm, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm making oh, fun of him. He say. lost a lot of weight. I know. <laughs> he lost, fucking, dude, he yeah. lost a person. He did. Yeah. He lost a dude, straight up you, person, bro. If you bro. look at his before and he after the, photo. He lost the Trey Pack. Ends, dude, he, well, I don't know if he lost that much. <laughs> 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 But uh, but no, it is very cool. I fucking wouldn't do that. Hey, did you see a uh, Trey Pack story this morning? No, no what is it? He got stung by like a fire ant. Where on his face? Really? <laughs> like, where, how does that happen? I don't know. But he wrote, he put it on there. He said, "Fire ants one, Trey Pack zero, and I just wrote, "You look thinner." Uh, <laughs> Damn, dog. Like, you look good. <laughs> Dude, you know what's fucked up? If some, if you like middle something for somebody, yeah. And then they die. If you what? <laughs> and then you get charged for it? That's fucked up. Wait, what? What? <laughs> what? Huh? What's happening? You're from Arkansas? Uh, yeah. <laughs> no, I'm from Boston, dude. You're from Arkansas, no, dude. No, Boston. No, you're from Arkansas. <laughs> you ain't fooling me, dog. Hey, wait, where'd you where'd you grow? You said, where did I you grow up? I grew up in South Texas, bro. So uh, it's like a, a half uh, in the valley, real great valley. And then Lou Laredo? No, 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 no. Uh, south of that. Uh, oh! Oh shit! Those are some nice lips. <laughs> dude, he, yeah, he got lip injections. He got DSL. He got the natural, he's dude. Got the DSL. Got DSL. By the way, did, did it happen multiple times? I don't know, but dude, when you post this, leave it up for more than fucking a millisecond. Oh, Let I, people I see said it. that too. <laughs> damn Trey, we love you, but damn, Shout you got some Trey DSL. Pal. Dude, you want to suck a dick bad. later? Or what's up, I'm, Trey? I'm hit him up afterwards. Do you huh? think that they? You think that that was in his bed or something? That yeah, could have been. Have you ever been fucking bit by a snake or anything? I mean, ants like crumbs. You, you have? A copperhead, yeah. Did it, what happened? Uh, I had to go and get uh, like yeah. a bunch of shots of anti of antivenom and I threw up and I shat myself. Really? Yeah, if I'm being now, honest. Now, is that because of the antivenom? Uh, no, yeah. it's because of the venom. <laughs> fucking yeah. idiot. No, because it's poison. Uh, this is in the, the hospital. the snake bite is what made you shit or the antivenom? It's, I, it's probably a snake bite. Yeah, it's venom. It it yeah. It's, it's a like, toxin that takes a, over your yeah, body a, and takes yeah. over all your Listen, muscles. I but then also, venom. then you also the dead. I envenomed. But then yeah. the anti venom is like just a, isn't it like a, a dose of that anyway? Yeah, it's just. Um, that's it's like, hey, we're like, just gonna give you cleaner venom. That's like, like when I when I got forced to take the vaccine, uh, it, I, it made oh. me sick. On the, the second one, made me sicker than when I had COVID. You're not a pure blood. No, I dude, and by the way, I was des I had to, dude. For what? The the job I found, it was oh, twenty bucks shit. an hour to move furniture for rich people. Plus tips. Fucking and, and I needed a job. I needed a job, dude. I had just moved here. I didn't have, I needed a job. This is America, dude. I needed a job. I love it. You fuck and, up your health to move shit for rich people. I needed a job, dude. I love it. Had to, you know, I had to pull up the old bootstraps. Yeah, that's true, bro. You know? I ain't, and, I ain't and, uh, but, dude, they shot me up. It's fucked up, man. Se- a lot of people yeah. had to go through that shit. Dude, and the second one made me sick as a dog for three days. To be fair, that rich lady that I worked for did pay me for the three days. Because oh. I was like, you made me get this devil juice. Yeah. You better fucking pay me. Bro, I got paid for an entire month to not work, and I never had COVID. I, I got away with two months. Uh, I didn't even get away with it. This was at the beginning, and they were like... They were so paranoid. I thought Texas never did anything. Well, they didn't, but the the company I was working for. Oh, gotcha. Did. Yeah, because it was it was crazy. Right? What was your job? Uh, at that point, uh, I was working for a, a quarry a landscaping company. It was like it was it was more <laughs> of stone. Of course, it was more stone than like landscaping. But like the title had landscaping. Were right? you stoned while you did it? No, kind of. Oh, it was too point. hot. 
Yeah, it, and being hot and high outside. It does, it does suck. It, it sucks. It does. Suck. I like being hot or high and, and, cool. and cold. Yeah, yeah. You don't want to be fucking hot, bro. But anyway, early on, dude, there was a guy that had it and tested positive for it. Yeah, and he had to take two weeks off, and then he comes back. This is how anal they were. Like everybody was scared, so he came back to work, but he never got a test to show that he was. Clear. People stayed away from him. No, check this out. He goes and gets on a piece of equipment. And then they call him off the equipment and then they send him off to go get tested. I don't know any of this. So then I get on that piece of equipment. Three hours pass by. The dude tests positive for COVID. Again. Uh, still. And he came back and they were like, yo, you just touched that piece of equipment. You just, you have to quarantine for two weeks. Oh, uh, even though, and did you have it or no? No. I oh, have okay. I, I, no symptoms. I got paid though. So I was, yeah, whatever. So who cares? Yeah. Who gives a fuck? I come back. Everything. Bro, I'm there a half a day, and my daughter has somebody in her class that tested positive for COVID, and then I tell them, and like, well, now you have to take two weeks off because you're with somebody. Yep. It was like, dude, I it was like third degree of COVID. Yeah. And then after a month, they were like, yo, we can't. I'm like, I'm not asking for yeah, this you're time like, off. You made me. You made me take <laughs> this time off. Right. Like, dude, that was so, that, what I looking back. It's so crazy to think now that it was nothing. Well, not nothing, but like, you know. Yeah, like I mean, it, we didn't have to shut down the world. My whole thing is I got mine, my vaccines because we we had a family run business. Well, you're also California. We were in California. We had a family run business. Had to keep it open. I did yeah. the first two boosters. It was whatever. It didn't. When I got it, it didn't affect me that hard. No. Um, I have a friend who got it. Went home. He lived with his mom, his aunt, and his granddad, and none. Of, they were older uh, Mexican folk, and they didn't have the vaccine. And his aunt, his mom, and his grandpa got it, and his grandpa and his aunt died. Damn. And his mom. Well, see, so my grandpa, died. all my, three of them died. Shout out to them. My he, grandpa passed away in in February of 2021, yeah. and but it was when they were still doing ventilators. Yeah. So so they put, and he was 70, like seven mm, or something. Them up. But he was healthy as shit. Yeah. And they put him on a ventilator, and he got he beat COVID. He was done, but it was when they they figured out they can't like once you're on it, you can't take you they off. can't take you off. Yeah, you get used to it. They, it's like it's like with then, the sleep apnea then, machine. And then he got bronchitis while he was on it, and yeah. then he passed away. Yeah, so crazy looking back. It's like he probably. I, I mean, I don't Bro, know. Early but, on, I knew it was shit when uh, a good friend of mine, his father, passed away, and he goes, "Dude, I watched my dad die. Like his dad had cancer, and then at the end had a heart attack." And he oh. passed away, right? And the doctor came in, shot him in the head with a gun, and said, Oh, it's COVID. 100%. 100%. <laughs> Tagged him. COVID. <laughs> Big boom. COVID. 100%. We need to stop talking about it and saying that word, or yeah. this is going to get. Not, yeah, it's not good. It's, it's, it's not, not good. You should bleep it out. Oh, just but, by saying, yeah. Oh, should yeah. we bleep yeah, saying it? Yeah, just bleep that out. Yeah. 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 Well, I mean, no, it's, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work, but yeah. Mm, I'll give you an extra gram of weed. I don't know what you're talking <laughs> about. Oh, we yeah. think that. <laughs> but yo, he watched his father die in front of him in that way, and uh, they ruled his death to be uh, attributed to that word. To, yeah, and yeah. It's like, they always did and, that, and it was like, wait, what? <laughs> right. I did what? And like, that's when I, I was like, whoa. And then, then the like, you know, podcasters were talking about it. I'm a fucking, I'm a shill. I'm a cuck. I'll listen to whatever certain people say. Right, right. Like, right. They uh, they did the due diligence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> and I did my due diligence on them. So <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Yeah, yeah. Like fucking, <laughs> this guy jumped off a building, huh? That word. Let's do it. Yeah, anyway. I'm glad it's over. So when I moved here, uh, I'll uh -huh. stop saying the word. Yeah, but when yeah. I moved here, dude, uh, from Boston, I'm from Boston, and uh, got here, and I was so... <laughs> I'm from Boston. <laughs> South Boston. And <laughs> so, I'm from Boston. So when I got here, though, and I got that, so I quickly got... So, dude, you know what's funny? I think I manifested working at Vulcan. What's up, Because when brother? I moved there, when I moved here, Vulcan was... The spot, you know, it. it, it I believe it, it, you when you said you manifested it, because I believe I manifested this as well. Yeah, and so because when I moved here, I thought to myself, I'm gonna fucking work at Vulcan. That's, That's cool. where I'm gonna fucking work. And I, within two or three weeks of moving here, I got that job. And uh, I remember we did. We had not a not a hard job to get, but 
Okay. Hey, so easy. You know. So fucking easy. No. Yeah, if you're a new Trey, com, if you're Trey a new, Pack worked there, homie. Hey, we'll if, if you don't new, say if, that, don't say that, because no. If you're a new there, comic dude, and you need a job, listen, come to Vulcan. We've already got a new comic that just that Mason Sam you up. brought in, and he's friends with all of these open micers that just moved here, and it's a nightmare. <laughs> Please, no. Actually, you know what? I'm kind of ask, in charge ask of Ask for like, Ashley and tell him Mason no, sent you. No, bleep, bleep her name 100%. Say and Cam sent you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> bleep that as well. Oh, Don't sorry. bleep that. No, Don't you have that. to. But listen, point B. The dude can't, he's only got two bleeps in him, bro. Look at that mustache, dog. <laughs> This is, gonna be heavy, this is gonna be heavy. This is why it should be a bleep and not a because the whole episode is gonna be like and then <laughs> Jesus. So all right, I, I feel like it should be sapagly. Yeah, I, I, actually, that's, a a cool bleep. Bleep. that's a cool. That's a cool. Oh, sapag, dude, I'd be on board with that, bro. Shout out, I'd to be me on board for with that, that idea. I like that, dude. Hey, let's do Don't that. Don't fist bump it. No, it's too late now. No, we got to get the, we, gotta, we <laughs> no, just got to make the here, sound Let me bite. tell you why we have. So right now our bleep is a whoosh. Yeah, because you're into dominatrix but, stuff. I no. Guess. I've seen yeah, you on stage. But at it's the funny because we didn't notice it until like, until I think it was Andre was on it. So, and he, it just like, the, he just in the intro, it just goes whoosh. Right. And Andre just goes, whoa, I don't like that at all. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, the mission goes Oh yeah, because yeah, I didn't think about that. <laughs> he was thinking about I, cowboys and I'm cattle. Like, yeah, and stuff. Like, I'm like, <laughs> like, but uh, but yeah, when I move, I'll dude, let you in on a secret. Cow, real cowboys. I mean, nowadays it's the whip. Eh, not really. It's not really used. Well, but the theme is western. <laughs> okay. Sure. <laughs> our, the theme of our podcast is definitely western, not it's racism. Not, not racism. Yeah, it's what. We, it's Western. Or medical misinformation. Yeah. But, uh, so anyways, first get here, got the job at Vulcan, and we Congrats. have a private event with 600 people, Kiss. and it was my first time being in public, uh -huh. no masks, just real life. Uh, and I uh, thought to myself, it's nice to be in the real world again. It's Texas. Yeah. Even though Austin's a shithole. It ain't that bad, bro. It's gross. There's worse places. For sure. I just, I, my main thing, I just hate the heat, dude. And you're used to it. Used to you know, it, yeah. you're brown, too. Very true. And, true and, that. And, you know, being from Arkansas, it got hot there. But, but not, it, as not hot. like this, nah, dude. It's different. Yeah. This is brutal, man. It was 80 degrees on New Year's Day. There's no seasons here. Two. There's, yeah, hot, hot and, and chill. Hot and a little chilly. <laughs> hot and lukewarm. And, 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 and the chilly <laughs> is, uh, you know, you can get that from. And we don't have seasons, but there's six days where it's cold as fuck. And I love those days, yeah. dude. And sometimes I've got, there's like a 80 degree day in between. Dude, I've things. got I've got 12 hoodies that are just sitting. Sick. I got a coat. I got my nice Coast. coat. <laughs> I got a lot of winter wear I don't wear, yeah. and it's yeah. just like because summer wear here, it's like it's just oh. put on whatever fucking feels yeah. good. It doesn't have to be fashionable. Like I, I'm walking out and like. On just, that note, I gotta ask you: When did you start wearing the glasses? <laughs> Uh, yeah, I like yeah. it. I uh, like you it. You do? I yeah. like it, and I want to do something similar, but I, I'm... I'm You're nerd. Let him try them on. No, it's no, not the glasses. For me, it's... it's try the these on anyway. It's the cowboy hat. Oh, okay. Remember when but you, do you wear boots? Uh, I do, sometimes. I mean, I'm a... Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna fuck. I'm gonna fuck. I was in the green room the other day. I was at the green room at the. You look like a nerd. <laughs> <laughs> if you were wearing like a button up, you could totally work. I like you, Geek Squad. Like were you yeah, wearing a bolo fine. unironically? No, I wouldn't. Wear okay, a bolo. so those um, little fucking those little bastards that do the frat thing, they were all wearing bolos. Well, I mean, night. I wouldn't wear one. I, brolos. Brolos. It's it's a fashion thing. I mean, I guess. There's a time. Uh, hold and place on, hold for on. It. When he does a pun, we got to give him credit for the good ones and the bad ones. So. <laughs> cool. <laughs> wah, wah, wah. <laughs> I thought that was a better. No, here's, hey, my, here's, here's my. You got chop full of ideas. Hey, hey, you're in comedy. Yeah. You're a fucking clown. Do whatever you want to do. Thanks, Make just have fun. I put these yeah. on, and then I have fun with it. And I've always liked glasses. I wear glasses all the time. Sunglasses all the time. I just. You know how many bugs have not flown in my eyes since I've had these? That I, I can tell? Six. So, whatever. But, but you wear, like, what's acceptable for whites. Because you can't wear, like, how, how black dudes wear, like, the full-on black sunglasses. Like, you, you can still see Yeah, your but eyes. here's the thing. is like... And I, that's cool. Here's the thing. is like, 
He wants to be practical. He's white. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I put the, I, I bought the, what it was is I just found these really cool, like, like shaded glasses. Mm-hmm. And I bought them and I was wearing them around. But they were so light. I could walk indoors and they couldn't tell the difference yeah. because they're just so light. They just have a slight shade. So I started wearing those uh, and I wore those for like two weeks and I just never took them off. And I was like, yeah, it's cool. I don't mind. I'm and then, but at, at, yeah, work when we're in the showroom and it's dark, you can't see. So I was like, I'll just order some clear ones, you know? And I was just like, they're safety glasses. Basically nice. it just stops things from getting oh, in my eyes. Oh shit. It's OSHA. Whatever. OSHA yeah. bitch. I'm much, OSHA dog. I'm much OSHA. like, uh, much like Nicholas, his glasses are transitioning. What am I transitioning into, Mason? <laughs> Gay. Gay. Do we need to bring do we need to bring up the BDSM? I look good in it. Yeah, that's weird. Yeah. Why would you do that? <laughs> yeah. Why would you do that? Yeah, that's Bro, weird. <laughs> Ty Rivera don't even do that in public. <laughs> yeah. What the fuck kind of faggot got, treat are you I, on? First of all, I got and also got to drink for free. Yeah, but you had to dress like that. Well, I looked. <clears throat> I'm jacked. It looked cool. Yeah, you had no, no legs. legs. <laughs> hey. <laughs> what is it? You said most uh, genderless legs in the game. Bro, or you, so. What'd you tell I me? Said, I said you have Holly Johnson legs. Bro. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Y'all wear the same pants and the same shoes, dog. Yeah. Plus a few toes. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah. But, I have pretty feet. Hey, but also, dude, the thing is, is like it doesn't matter. Like Pick you got squats. paid to do that, and you got to drink for free. The worst part about all of that outfit. You enjoyed it. Oh, yeah, it was fun. Did. Yeah, you're gay as fuck. No. <laughs> <laughs> you're gay as fuck, dude. Like, you're just so gay. I love women. <laughs> yeah, but it doesn't mean you're I don't want to hear them talk or anything, but... Yeah, you're gay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> dude, Nick hates when I say stuff like that. Why do you have to say stuff like that out loud? Why do you say it out loud? That's what he always tells it's me. It's a podcast, uh, man. We're from Boston. Let's go. I'm from Boston. I can say what I want. I'll say fag. Can you do? Yeah. Can you do a Boston accent? Oh yeah. Yeah. You have done. You it. boys yeah. didn't rob a fucking star market for a box of quarters. Wow. Yeah. You are doing a JFK accent. Yeah. Well, Was to be a- to be fair, the fact that he went into the accent instead of just saying like this is a normal yeah, Boston yeah, yeah, accent because yeah. I'm from Boston proves that he's not from Boston. I'm from Boston. No. Uh-huh. You are no. not a cop. Yeah. No. You are not a cop. Nope. Yep. Nope. Nope. No, no. Fucking going to Quincy, kid. I no, never, no, no. I lived in Quincy, kid. No, no, no. Yeah. Bro, growing up in Texas, Boston was like a different world. To oh, me. dude, my dad, when my dad found out that I wanted to move to Boston, he goes, he goes, you know, they let gays get married there. Yeah, they do. And I was like, so? They got legal weed, too. Commonwealth. Yeah, it's a win-win for Mason. Dude, dude, <laughs> dude, they... they <laughs> They used to make fun. Of, so my last couple of weeks, you're that, fucking weird, dude. Yeah, so, <laughs> fucking so loser. I, I, I was a, I was Life a, loser. I was that, a welder dude. for eleven years. Yeah. And when I was uh, gonna leave, they all were like, "Fuck you! Why don't you go back? Going up to Boston, you fucking traitor!" Everyone was making fun of me for leaving to go Hell to Boston. Yeah, They're like, you know, they just had a bombing. They're like, you want to move where there was a bombing? Yeah, Take your that means their security's on high alert. It's not going to happen for at least another 20 years. They got Mark Wahlberg looking out, dog. Absolutely. Um, He's from Dorchester. Dorchester. Okay, hold on. I want to do this. This is a, a segment we do here. Let me get into Yeah, let me get into this. This is how we segue between segments. This is our segue. Let's do it, dog. All right. In, this, in the mind frame of this, now that you've done the pod with us. Yes, sir. What is your new favorite thing about Mason? His cute toes. <laughs> His cute toes. You got cute toes? Better than I Nick. have good feet, yeah. Better than Nick Corey's feet? Oh, oh, Mason I don't think... has great feet. I'm, I look, I'm wearing shoes just in spite of y'all. He does have straight toes. They, straight do, toes? Yeah, my yeah, toes are all some pretty straight toes. He's okay. got club feet. Yeah, dude. Yo, you, you know what y'all two are? Roommates. Roommates. <laughs> <laughs> Roommates. <laughs> Roommates. Full circle. Hell yeah. Full circle jerk. All right. Now, the second part of the segment is yeah. what do you now doing after doing the podcast? Uh-huh. What is the thing you hate the most about Mason? His fucking face, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that thing. Dog. That mustache uh-huh. is weird. No. It's, not, <laughs> it's not symmetrical. It's, it's, it's bro. Uh, it's uh, it looks like Conor McGregor got bit by Trey Pack's ant. Uh, <laughs> bro, so. he's got a dog. He's somewhere between like Appalachia and like 
cartel. No, Appalachia and what the fuck. <laughs> so yeah, that's that's how I feel about Mason. And then also uh, going back to why the fuck would you dress like a gimp on stage? No, it's BDSM. Yeah, BDSM and uh, and give out dildos for prizes. But yeah, no, you got paid. How much hey, was it? I can't tell you that. Okay, because it's not enough. It's not. It's not. It's not enough to be proud of. <laughs> well, no, this but, show never came hey, back. Let me tell you this: there were three numbers. Okay. Wow, three figures. <laughs> yeah. Damn. You got paid under ten dollars. <laughs> It was a long. It was Hey, I'll tell you this. It was a long wheelbase ten. All right. You got paid ten dollars. Long wheelbase. Yeah, so $10. you know, gigolos get paid as well, and they I, probably get free drinks. A lot I times. would fuck an old lady for money. That oh yeah. Okay. Your roommate doesn't like it when you talk. About it. <laughs> Respect. Nick his looks boundaries. like the lead singer of Steppenwolf. You always say that, and you mean Deep Purple. That's yeah, true. Deep purple, sorry. Yeah, you fucking idiot. <laughs> oh, you dumbass, dude. That's Smoke good. on the water. <laughs> uh, that's nice. Even I knew that. Uh, well, shit. Uh, Hank, thanks. Well, where can people find you at? Uh, on Instagram, this ain't Hank. This ain't Hank. This ain't Hank. Hank Garza, look up Hank Garza. But yeah, this ain't Hank. Hey, are you going to start producing any more shows? You you had the one for a little bit that I did. I did, man. That was before I was even doing comedy. I was running a fucking an open mic. Uh, maybe, yeah. That's the next plan, dude. I, um, I got to get something going for myself. Uh, get myself some more time. Uh, but yeah, thanks for asking. Yeah, yeah I probably yeah. will, yeah. Just Fuck keep yeah. looking out on uh, Instagram, Hank Garza. This ain't and Hank. are you not doing the Hank show anymore? I'm about to uh, pick that up, dude. It's just uh, I got these ideas. You were getting good guests. Uh, decent. I, I did like four episodes, but I, I don't really want to. It's not like a comedy podcast, so it's like well, that's a fine. little different. Yeah, that's no, fine. no, no. Yeah, but you don't no, have, you don't. no, no, no. What, what, what I mean by that is uh, it's a little different of a, uh, it's like more music. Like, the, but... <sighs> It's it's just weird because there's a the the John it's a very niche type yeah. of podcast, and like the the people that do that music are very conservative and they're yeah. like wait 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 what okay gotcha so it's gotcha. it's a little hard for me to, hey come I have up. to do some rebranding on it yes that's exactly what, yeah. what I have to do so that, yeah well stay tuned for that folks oh yeah, Hell yeah uh, Nick Corey check out Absurd Junk on YouTube and Instagram Hell yeah. we've got a monthly comedy show called Backyard Comedy check that out on Eventbrite Fuck yeah. And, uh, yeah, check out the High Noon Pod. Uh, Nicholas underscore Sapaglia on uh, TikTok, Instagram, YouTube. That's about it. Um, I'm trying to figure out how to delete this stupid Twitter account because fuck Twitter. I never use it. X. Um, yeah, yeah, fuck all that. Um, yeah, that's about it. Uh, so please like, share, and subscribe on YouTube at the High Noon Podcast. And uh, on Instagram, it's uh, High Noon underscore Pod. And uh, also, we're on TikTok now. I forgot to say that yeah. the yeah, last like on, ten times. Yeah, we're on TikTok now. So yeah, look, follow us on TikTok too. Uh, Hank underscore Garza, Paul. thank you for coming on. Out of respect, <laughs> out of respect for uh, for for victims of abuse out there, can y'all please just comment? Mason is fucking weird. I mean, all sorts of stuff, dog. That, that, I mean, that'll get y'all attention. Like, please comment, but let him know that he's fucking weird. Yeah, that's fucking. Yeah, those are facts. Weird. Hey. Yeah, facts. Live weird. That's right, dog. <laughs> ah, <ooh. laughs> hey, yeah, uh, check out. We got an outro too. <laughs> he just takes the mic, takes them off immediately. Yeah. <laughs> With that wily coyote. Hell yeah. I love the outro just as much as like, share, and subscribe. It ain't bad. Thanks for coming, buddy. Yeah, dog. We'll see you next week on the dusty trail. Oh, he's going out of the purse. <laughs> <laughs> I George just, comes home to a podcast that just like went wrong. Yeah. <laughs> bam, oh, bam, no. bam, bam. Yes, I got. We're in Texas. <laughs>